All right, well, I'm in the process of building uh, penny number two. And uh, penny number one, uh, I'm just going to leave her alone. And for some reason, uh, the battery that is uh, running penny number one gained voltage in a state about one volt uh, the last few days. So I'm not going to touch her. I'm just going to leave it alone, maybe build a little box for her, put her on a shelf, and just, just see how long it runs. And in the process of building penny number two, which is a little bit bigger coil, I put the scope on it today to see what kind of a waveform was coming off this thing. And I fiddle around with it and couldn't get a, a decent signal out of it. I'm going, what the heck is going on? And then I found out that um, I was running it on one of these uh, crystalline cells here. And I had the scope hooked up to it, scope probe. And I found out as I moved the probe around, the waveform kept changing all over the place. And then by accident, I found out that I was actually able to run this off of the scope probe. I could take the crystal cells off completely, and there was a back feed through the probe or through the ground wire that would run this oscillator. And I spent most of the day fiddling around with that, trying to find out you know, how and whatever. And then finally, at the end of the day, I found out I can run it off nothing. <clears throat> Just put a piece of uh, aluminum foil under the tablecloth here and the lamp sitting on the tablecloth emits enough electromagnetic force through the base of that lamp that it's running this oscillator. I'm going into it through an Evan Minkle plug, what they call an AV plug, diode goes this way, diode goes that way. On the ground circuit I'm going to a virtual ground, a piece of aluminum right here and that supplies the ground plane and that oscillator is running. That's what it sounds like. And uh, let me vary a little bit here. When you get down into the 4 or 5 microamp range, it doesn't take a lot to run these little oscillators. Um, so anyway, I'm back to wondering why these crystalline cells are doing what they're doing. And this is actually a good find because we're studying semiconductors right now. And the whole history about how a semiconductor works and the transistor and the whole bit. And these little uh, switching diodes and, of course, the little 2N222, the famous 2N222 um, NPN transistor right there that, believe it or not, works as a negative resistor, um, is enabling this to happen. So in the process of trying to figure out why Penny is not losing energy, she's just holding her own, I'm stumbling on things. And this was the big find today that you could run this off of uh, EMF in the house. And I think while I was gone, there was just enough EMF in the house flying, or flying around that maybe it was charging this stuff up because I wasn't disturbing it. I don't know. But I do know that now I know that this will run off the energy from that lamp. And it's not the light. It has nothing to do with the light. It's the energy coming in through the lamp, through the base that's running this. This is a CFL. You can't see it, but it's a, it's a fluorescent CFL. And uh, that's just sitting on uh, this piece of aluminum foil. And it's coming through the base of that lamp, through the tablecloth, hitting that foil, getting into that AV plug right there, running the oscillator, finding a ground path through this piece of aluminum. Now, if I add a real ground path, this is a ground, an earth ground, through a rod in the ground outside my door, this will increase and makes a much better uh, path for the energy. You see these things are getting brighter. So, anyway, I'm studying what's going on here, and it's a pretty fascinating study. And I'm continuing to work on these crystalline cells, which I believe are semiconductor in nature. Uh, that's the one that was done on the stove, and I just put them in cardboard here so that they don't break apart. And that's what's uh, running Penny right now, is one of those um, stovetop, IB pointless stovetop uh, cells. And it's just been over a month, so I don't think it's going anywhere. Anyway, that's the latest uh, find today as I work on penny number two. And uh, we'll see how penny number two comes out. Thanks for watching.